Concealer by e.l.f. I got this at Target for a dollar. Really, really cheap. So, apply some concealer. You can blend this with your fingers. Very easy to blend. And you also want to apply it on your any blemishes you may have. I see I have one right here and one right here. And apply those there. And you just want to blend it in gently with your fingers. I'm using the e.l.f. translucent powder. I got this at Target for $3. That's what it looks like. And I'm using this brush by Studio M Professional. I got this at Meyer. It came in a package with four brushes and it was $10. So you pat it, tap, and it'll give your face a matte look so your face won't look shiny and oily. And it's very important to apply this when you put foundation on because when you don't apply a powder, a setting powder, your face can look really oily but this is also good because it helps keep your foundation on longer throughout the day. Now we apply our eyeshadow and this is by Wet n Wild. I got this at Meyer for $4.69 and it comes with matte colors and shimmer colors. The middle one you're going to apply it on your lid Okay, you're going to apply it on your lid. The brighter one, apply it on your brow bone. And if you want depth, you can add the darkest one in your crease. Ooh. And for that, I have a brush to blend. I got this, this came with the package, um, the Studio M package that I had just mentioned. If you want your eyes to look brighter and more awake, use your little sponge and take this bright shimmery one and put it in the inner corners of your eyes. This will open up your eyes a lot and it'll open, up a, open them up a lot and it'll make you look really awake. Also, if you want shimmer, you can use this nice gold one in the middle and just kind of like go over your lid one time. After that, we take our eyelash curler. If your eyelashes are naturally curly, obviously you won't need this. We're going to take our mascara. I use L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I like two coats. I like it that I like it to look a little more dark, a little more dramatic. You might want to put a little bit on the bottom lashes. Small amount. Once you've applied that, you take your eyeliner. I got this uh, by, it's by Bonnie Bell. I got it at Meyer for $3, I believe. It was two something. I like to apply it in the inner lid, okay? And I apply it more towards the corner. Careful, don't poke your eyeball out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Contouring your face is just to make your face look really nice and define your cheekbones. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, it's a good look. This is the e.l.f. quad for your face. I got this at Target for $3. So, take your little brush. This is from Meyer Studio M. And you want to do it in the middle of your temple. And... Your jaw so it's like a number three okay other side temple 
job. You may also want to put it on the sides of your nose. That gives the illusion that your nose is thinner than what it really is. After that, we're going to take our blush. I really like this pink one because it has little glittery, shimmery stuff in it. So you can take the same brush if you'd like, or you can use another one. I'm going to take the same one. And just tap it in. Tap it off. Smile. Gently rub around. To finish our look, we're going to use this uh, Revlon lip gloss. It's called Revlon Peony. 008 Peony. So it has a really nice pink color. So that is the natural look. I know it's not completely natural, but it's more of a natural look. I hope you liked it. Talk to you soon. Bye.